Hello, my name is Kevin Bischel. I'm an engineer here at PBC Linear, and I'll be showing you how to adjust the rollers on our IVT product. When you order the IVT product, you will receive a bag with instructions and a, a wrench here for adjusting uh, the carriage rollers. The first uh, roller design that I'll show you is our hex adjust, okay? In this design, there's a hex nut on the top. There are two eccentric studs, so the two rollers on the one side of the carriage can be adjusted. The rollers on the other side are fixed. All right, now these rollers will arrive pre-loaded. Um, pre However, you may wish to adjust it for, for whatever reason, and that's what I'm here to show you today. Okay, so here on the underside, you can see the two rollers that we will be adjusting, and, and this particular carriage has lubricators also. Okay, now this wrench that comes in the kit is used to just hold this thin hex nut that you see here. A standard wrench won't fit it. Perhaps you'll want to grind your own. However, we do furnish a tool so that you are able to grasp it. Okay, now this wrench is just being used to hold that nut. What I will do then is I'll use a tool on the other side, 15 millimeters in size, to grab hold of the hex nut on the other side. And all I'm going to be doing here is just loosening it, okay? Now, once I've loosened the hex nut on the other side, I can use this wrench just to turn the roller until it's up against the rail, okay? Once I have that, I can put this uh, wrench back on, and now I can tighten the hex nut to lock the roller in place, all right? It's important, don't try to torque with this, this wrench here. It is uh, not that sturdy. It is designed only to hold the nut. You will bend it if you, if you try to torque on it too hard. You don't need to torque hard with this wrench. You're just using this to load the roller up against the rail. If your preload is too high, you'll have much shorter product life and, and you'll wear the rail. Okay, here's the second style of, of adjusting roller where we have, this is a cam adjust. You can see that uh, there are two set screws that come in from the side. You, you access them here, all right? And by adjusting the two set screws, you're able to rotate the cam, lock it in place, changing the preload here on the rails, all right? Now how these are adjusted, you start with an with a, uh, Allen wrench here. This is a two and a half millimeter. Okay, and I start by loosening the set screws on both sides. All right, now I was able to feel that the roller became loose. All right, and then you'll see on this side, there's a, there's a mark made by one of the holes. Tightening that set screw tightens the, the roller against the rail. Okay, so I will adjust that set screw until I feel the roller up against the rail. And then what I do is I tighten the, the set screw on the other side to lock the roller in place, okay? Now, these, I haven't, uh, I haven't taken the set screws out or anything, but again, uh, we recommend you use thread locker on the, uh, the set screws. And the tool I'm using, again, is a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench.